Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We're starting out this episode by completing the quest and we're going to start choosing our den so the seasons I believe are going to change so that way we can see more of what each den area is going to look like. Okay. A lot different. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the tips for this. Oh, there's like little, like, I don't think that's snow. I think that's like white fluff flying around in the wind. That's such a cute little addition I've never noticed before. It's the little things that make games awesome. Makes it more immersive. Anyway, we need to also check... Okay, our territory. We have pretty much got the outline for our territory in. But we need to go ahead and sleep, which is going to change quite a few of the hexes a bit. But we're exhausted and I can't keep going without a little bit of rest for poor Mist. She has been exhausted. She's been up for like days running around marking her territory. And we still have a lot more left to do before we'll ever, ever get to like having pups. We're pretty well rested, but let's see how much that changed everything. It's actually not that bad. Um, we still have the center hexes to even claim and also explore to see if there's any dens in that area, but now we'll have to go through and remark those because I know the geode pack is going to totally try to take that back over. So... We're going to have to go straight there and do that. wondering if it was all dried up or why it was looking so muddy as all the snow starts to melt the springs the creeks the rivers i guess are gonna get like a lot muddier and possibly wider some parts may end up flooded i kind of want to get like a den that can get flooded because i've never had one get flooded before maybe i've just been choosing them in the wrong area to have that happen i don't know but I think it would be so awesome. It's like, not awesome, but like a cool experience. Oh, you can see little coyotes chasing a rabbit. They are so slow compared to that rabbit though. I don't know how they're ever gonna catch that. You know, this might be a bit of a change, but I'm gonna check out my graphics. Yeah, I feel like it's just running a little slow right now, so I'm gonna change it to good instead. And that might be a little different, <laughs> a little more barren. Sorry guys, but it needs to happen if I want to play smoothly. Whoa, okay, elk right here. Do we need any? No, we're not that hungry. We are good enough for now okay luckily I don't think I'll have to spend too much time marking territory this time oh is that what is that a fox oh okay I don't know why they walk so weird though Ah, he's growling at it. He's so protective, even though a fox really isn't going to do anything. Okay. We're almost done with this side, and then we're going to go off exploring that away, I think it is, to see if there's any more dens that we need to find. Or if we can just go ahead and choose the one we want to have our pups in. 
It actually was over this way. <laughs> okay. Almost. And there, we are done with that. I'm not gonna bother with all the ones that are like 75 and 80 because it's really not necessary. Um, as you can see, there's a whole line of them in the 40s though, hexes that need to be refreshed, but I'm not gonna bother with it just yet. I think we're gonna go and pick our first densite. Whenever I go to have pups though, I am going to refresh like literally all the hexes as much as possible because it's it's much easier to start off with your litter, especially if it's a large one, if you're completely ready for it. it everything gets so much harder if you have like six to seven mouths to feed and your territory's down, you ain't hunted, everything is hard. So you got to start it off in like the right foot, I guess you could say. The right paw. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> you can see the den from here. And I quite like it, honestly. I really do because it's so open and you can just, you can see everything. <laughs> and let's see. And looking off like that way, that's actually like our territory. And so we can go off hunting on like the plains and hills rather than like going up in the mountains or something. I'm not going to choose it yet because I want to check out a couple others. I was just seeing if it was an open den, which I figured it would be. But yeah, it's an open den. So of course, let's go in this view. There's not a lot of places for like cougars and wolves to hide, but we are going to have to be careful about eagles, especially. So for now, we're going to keep that one in mind while we go check out some of the other really close ones because we're going to have to move between a couple. So I want to figure out where I want to start and where I want to end and like how many dens I want to be moving between. Might be like three or four. I'm not sure exactly yet. And there's also that den all the way to the right. I didn't forget about it. I've been thinking about that one too. It's just so far out there and I haven't found any more dens that are that is out that way. So it would have to be a very long travel to get over there. And especially with young pups, that would be incredibly dangerous. Okay, aha, it's right here, which is another open den. This one's actually much better than the other one. Like it's really good. Like you can really see everything. That's not bad at all. I really like this one. Okay, I yeah, that one that one's pretty much sold me. Okay, where else? We've got one more down a little bit that I wanted to check out as well. But I'm not going to check that out just yet. Instead, I'm going to go up, mark some territory, and work my way toward the other one that I wanted to check out and see if I can't find any more dens while I'm heading over that way. Because that might change things for us. If we can... Ooh, see? See? There's already a den nearby that I have not found yet. That's exactly what... Oh. No, I thought I saw it. I did not see it. <laughs> no. This is exactly what I was hoping for, though. Oh, here it is. Yep. I'm getting a better eye for this stuff. Okay, this is a wooded den. And it's right next to a creek, which is kind of cool. I wonder if this one actually gets flooded, like I was talking about. And it's super, super duper close to the other one and a couple others. 
Honestly, we could move between a whole bunch of dens. We could try out all of them. <laughs> but that's a little ambitious. Um, wow, that gets deep. That gets deep. What the heck? Okay, let's keep going this way. There's actually a den, like, right up here. We can go ahead and check that one out. See how far it really is while we're marking the territory. I might just choose, like, oh, all of these dens in this one area. And then I can just, like, move a whole bunch of times as soon as, like, the fleas get up high in percentage. Um, and it doesn't have that many downsides to it either. I mean, well, yeah, it's incredibly dangerous to keep moving that many times because you're not so protected whenever you're out and about. Especially for, like, I don't know, do eagles attack? They attack, right? If you're just, like, traveling with your pups like this? I'm pretty sure they do. Okay, I mean, here it is. Wow, why, right in the open. Oh, yeah. I, well, it's a wooded den, but it's still out in the open to me. And this is the one that I set all the antlers in front of. Look, you can see an, a little eagle. You'll hardly see it now. I just saw it flying, though. It's gone. Wait, there it is. Oh, wait, that's a different one. Or is it the same? I don't know. <laughs> but this one's not bad. I don't love it. I don't see how this one's a wooded one when there's barely any trees. It's probably due to my graphics being so low now. I don't know. Um, but it's not bad. It really isn't. It's not that bad. Okay. So now that we marked that, let's just go ahead and... Let's just keep going. I was thinking about just going ahead and choosing a den, but I gotta mark all this territory anyway. So we might as well just keep our noses out for more dens and see which ones we actually end up going with. And we're already getting pretty tired again. So our stamina is pretty low. Jump right over that. Oh, no we didn't because we just splashed right in there. Okay, so I've ran through and marked the territory that needed marking. Um, I'm not gonna mark the ones all the way to the right because I just don't think we need a territory that large and that's gonna be very difficult to keep, especially if we have a large litter of pups. And Honestly, our dens are definitely going to be the ones on the western side to the left because there's just so many more options to choose from. I ran through and I tried to find more by that one lonesome den on the right, but I could not find any other dens. And I'm betting they're probably up in Coyote Creek territory a little bit, maybe. Probably just like, yeah, I'm betting like... Probably right to the right side of Hellroaring Mountain and the Coyote Creek over here. But I'm just, I have so much territory already mapped out. I'm just not interested in trying to find more dens over there because we've already found so many good ones. So I'm just not going to do that this time around. Definitely on another play through I'm sure and there's actually a den icon near me now which we will still be finding even if we may not use it oh this is coyotes okay where is this den at Where's this den? I feel like it was back here, maybe. And it's like more of a wooded den. Um, where are you? Where are you, sir? Oh, maybe I should try this. Oh, wait! <laughs> it was right here. Okay. So, not now, of course. Wow, it actually blends in really well with that. It thinks I want to do it again, but I don't. Okay, 
wow that actually does blend in really really good that's crazy um but of course we will not be choosing that den at least not at the moment but that is one that we could use if we had gone with the other lonesome den over here but we're not going to we will go ahead and continue mapping out this part of the territory and see if there's any more dens to find it'll help us for next time okay he's going after the rabbit i think he got it yep you go right ahead sir Is he gonna eat it i think he's okay he ate it and then he peed on the remains <laughs> that's nice okay we are heading the wrong way we actually need to go up the mountain a bit and i feel like dens would i bet there's one like right over there at that rock face there may not be one but there have been a few dens that is like in places like that. I love those too, but they're also really hard to see because you have one side is a huge rock and things can come like on either side of it. And it's just, I kind of do prefer open dens if it wasn't for eagles because you can just see so much more. No, oh wow, this is, oh okay, so we found the rock field. Is this a different one or is this this, oh no, 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 we're sliding. <laughs> we're sliding let's not get stuck on the rocks is this a different one than before though because i feel like the other one was way over in the geode pack territory i could be wrong though oh no 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 oh no oh no 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 no, we're glitched. Okay, jump. Jump out of it. Get free. That was a big jump. Okay, um, be careful, guys. You can fall there. Okay, I need to stay away from the ledge. <laughs> I thought you couldn't actually physically go in there, but apparently you can. Oh, and there is a den nearby. I thought there was definitely going to be more dens in these areas couldn't just all be on the western side, you know? Okay, I think it's getting lighter, though. Not darker. I need to try going a different direction. Nope, it disappeared. Where are you, little den? Nope, disappeared again. Maybe I can try the scent view. But the scents are coming from the wrong direction, I think. Okay. We're gonna find it. Oh wait, no, it's getting orange. Oh, I think it might be down here. I bet it's on the other side of this. Is it? It is not. Where is this den? A mound or something? I don't know. Where on earth? No, it's definitely getting lighter now. I think. And this scent view is like not helping us one bit. No, it's definitely gotten lighter. Okay, so it must be up here. Yeah, now it's getting like very orange. It's very orange over there though. Maybe it's more this way. You see how dark it got? It must be over here somewhere. I officially have no idea what this thing is. In 
and there's no sense coming off of it either. What is going on here? And then, of course, it's gonna be like right in my face. Oh, but I bet. I thought I just saw it. <laughs> nope. It's trying to trick me. But it wouldn't be up here because then I would get the sense from it. Okay, let's let's head down a little bit. I'm gonna find this because I'm already getting aggravated enough where I'm going to stay here and I don't care if it takes me two hours I'm going to find this this is my last resort oh I see a den icon you head all the way back and then just wait for the sense to come to you <gasps> I knew it was by this oh my gosh look how well hidden that looks like I guess I didn't go up near the rock enough you can't even hardly see it but I so badly want to go in there. Okay. This is an open den, of course. But that is gorgeous. And it, it would have such a good playing area for the pups. That's awesome. Wow, there are so many good dens near us. Okay, we only have one more hex we actually need to mark. And then we are set to choose a den. Have our pups. And oh my gosh. And I still have no idea how things have changed, especially with the changing of the seasons, for elk hunting, where the elk are going to be. You know, they have like migration and everything, and I have no idea where their spots are. I know Slough Creek, like the back of my hand, where the elk spots, it's so... It's so much easier there to find, you know, where the elk go than Amethyst for me. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I've just played it for so long, but... Hell Roaring is just gonna be so much different. Okay, and we're done. So now we can go and we can choose a den. Finally. And I'm not going to sleep because I do believe if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure I am. Um, if you have your pups and you're like hungry or, you know, exhausted, I'm pretty sure after you have the pups, it's like you've been resting for a little while. Clearly, because I mean, I don't know. Wild animals are a bit different than humans, so... I don't know if a mother wolf just has her pups and then the next day she's out like hunting again, but I'm pretty sure she has to like take a little bit of bed rest. A little bit of a den rest. While her mate probably hunts. Wow, those are, that's a skittish hurt. Oh, no. It's not skittish from us. We have wolves in our territory. But they are, there's three of them. Who are you? Okay, it's just dispersals. How do you say that? Talula? Talula? I don't know. Um, we're not gonna mess with them because my mate, I do believe, still has a minor injury. And I, of course, do not have like any energy to really be fighting so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it and have any beef if it was a pack wolf a stranger wolf on our territory that would be a different story but this one I'm not even gonna bother with especially since there's three of them that is not a fight I'd want to see if I could win and are we passing elk I think we are we need to get out of range because where there is an elk cow there is probably the herd not not too far away okay where is this one this is where is this, one? this thing is like running around on me those are just coyotes um where's this den where is this wait this is the den oh there it is it's like glitching out actually what is that? I have no idea what's going on with this one whatsoever. Um, I'm 
Yeah. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, I submitted a bug report just in case. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that, that din. Um, we're gonna choose a different one. <laughs> but yeah, that's fine. Um, where are we heading? Right, let's go back up this way. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably nothing. Things happen in games, blah, blah, blah. But either way, I still submitted it just in case. Which everyone I feel like should definitely do. As long as it's not wasting their time. I don't really know. I remember one time I thought it was like a glitch. I'm still not sure if it was or not, but um... I was, I had my pups inside their den and I was about to leave and then all of a sudden the, like, I went to, I was about to leave to go like hunt and stuff and all of a sudden the danger music started and it showed the little red icon on the left, um, about a cougar attack, except a cougar never came and I was like running around trying to find it forever and then I eventually just kind of left. This is a nice den. It's an open den. Did we see this one already? I don't know. I, yes, we definitely did. I like this one. I definitely do, but it's not gonna be our starting one. Not yet, anyway. But I was running around trying to find the cougar and eventually I, I was like, you know, just heck with it. And I started to just leave anyway. And then finally the cougar pops down from like this rock and this was in Slough Creek. And I don't know if it was glitched up there the whole time. I never saw it before. Or I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Like, oh, you know, as you leave, then the cougar comes and attacks your den for the pups. But I don't know. I did submit a bug report for that one because it was just a very strange experience. And I'm talking, this was like, I, I probably exaggerate, but it was at least like 10 minutes of me running around and trying to figure it out. Ooh, I can see some elk right over there. That would be so good. I really like this den. I really like it, especially since it's so close to the creek. Um. Oh, should we choose this one? Let's go look at this one right over here. Last one I'm gonna look at, I promise. Because I am so anxious to have pups. Jump over that. Okay. Because I don't want to have to move too many times. Oh, and this one might actually be up by the creek too. Depending on where exactly it is. Where are we going? We need to go up more, don't we? Okay, yeah, we need to go up. Maybe I should find some by the river. Maybe next time. I'll do that next time. Okay, so yeah, this is the one that was, I think, at the antlers. Um, I'm not sure I really want to start with that one. I'm not going to start with that one. I'm going to start with the last one because I liked it better. And especially being by the creek, I think it's so pretty. I'm definitely starting with that one. Plus, you also have to think you're supposed to, or it's recommended, I guess, to have two hexes of your territory between stranger pack wolf territory. And I don't believe I have that. Oh, oh, oh. We're trying to swim against the rushing water. That's actually a pretty strong current. I hope our pups do not get in that because that would not be good. But that is part of the excitement. Okay, I think it might be on that side. Oh no, it turns. Okay. Yes, so. I hope this one turns out to be pretty good. Yeah, so this one only has like one hex between um, the Cottonwood Creek territory, which is not that great at all, because then we're probably gonna get more stranger wolf attacks, but this is what we got to work with. So let's go ahead and have our pups. We're gonna choose this den, yes. name our den okay this is the only one that's by the creek so i'm gonna name it we don't want that um creek side den
Ah, see, so her stamina, her hunger meter, and her um, her sleep, yes, her energy, it all went up. I couldn't find the word for that. <laughs> okay, and then yes, it is our birthday too, and we are going to advance in age. And of course, I almost always do these two because why would you not? You got the fun parent, social and play emotes, boost pack affinity faster, awesome. That's absolutely awesome. Then you have youthful prowess, which especially the sick pups are more likely to recover. That's awesome. Honestly, all of it's cool. But yes, anyway. Um, what other one should we do? Should we make ourselves faster? Or should we help our health and speed? Since those are already... Not speed. Health and strength. Because those are already lacking. I'm gonna do strength. Yeah, I'm gonna do strength. I feel like she should be a little bit stronger. So, yes. We're gonna do it. Oh my god. So we had five of them. Aw. It's not a super large litter, but it's still a pretty good size. We've got three girls and two boys. That's adorable. I always love it when they're at this age, even though you barely spend any time with them. And I'm so curious what colors they're going to turn out to be, but we're not going to name our pups just yet because I do want to see what their coats look like. So here, we will get to meet them. I'm going to skip the tips on that. Okay. And they're so wobbly coming out. It's adorable. And where is our mate at? Where is he? Our mate is nowhere to be found. Where is our mate? Oh, no, no. He's probably in there. No wonder. Somebody's got to be in there, I guess. Okay, so this is the little boy. And our little girl. We don't have a runt because I believe it would say runt by it, but we do have one that is super duper small at only 3.8. And I think that's the one that came out. Yeah, 18, 19. She is a super duper small one. And oh my gosh, he, they're all beautiful, but look at that coat coloring. I love it. I'm definitely gonna have to find some good names for these guys. And then that should be our last one. Oh, hi. Oh, yes. You guys are probably hungry, aren't you? Let's see. I have a. No, I don't. Hold on. Yes. I do have a little bit of food for them. Only a little bit, because we really need to hunt. A little bit more they are so beautiful but all right guys i think i see an eagle here comes the paranoia nope that is not one we have to worry about i don't believe um <laughs> yes here comes the paranoia already for danger <laughs> but we're gonna name them on the next episode guys so i will see y'all on the next one